and see I just did a little bit of a square there cut as you go along yeah we have way too much probably cut that off later so this time again remember you want the felt along the edge we want this is just basically to hold it in place and we're going to sew it so it's going to come down so hi be able to sew it here and along here that that looks quite nice don't you find try and keep your if you have a full keep it in the center of whatever you're doing because later on you'll go hmm that looks odd so try and keep it equal or you'll be looking at it going hmm huh. let's make a little mark Center. So we already have folded there. We got the fold there. We'll put the mark here just to give us a visual on the other side. Yeah. You'll see sewing ladies double checking things all the time. They have a feel for everything, so they're better at this. Okay, so we're here. We're going to sew along here, along here. And it's how tight do we make it? Now I look at it, and it's way too long. So I'm going to put it in. So let's. Let's do some, that's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. Okay. I do that. Okay. This is actually working out better this way because it's right above where the back structure is. Can you see that with the uh, right above there? The back right above. So let's do it. Not tight, but not too tight. So I don't want it too tight. But tight enough. Let's get some. Oh, I'm bleeding on the back of my. Oh, that's good. Good thing it's the back. Okay. If you're gonna bleed on a project, bleed on the back. Ow. I wonder what that red was. Time to get out. Ooh, needles. Okay. Bleeding seems to have stopped now. That was good. Wear an apron. This is my grandmother's I got from a place. Look at the nice, this must have been when the nice, uh, those nice new stitches came in. You know, the ones down. Down. Like pockets. Okay. 
We're waiting for my thumb to stop bleeding. It seems to. I couldn't recognize my grandmother's hands at the end. Couldn't figure out what was different. And it's because as they get older and get taken out of the, the farmhouse, their fingers get soft like mine are. And because the ends of her fingers always had needle holes in it or peeling holes or and they were always tough at the end. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. It's because her fingers weren't tough at the end whenever I'd hold her hand. We're looking good, people. Except for the blood. Let's turn it around. No blood on the front. Excellent. Oh, what the? Wait. Centered. Yes. Is it going to be long enough in the front? Yes. We still have this piece hanging down. Not so pretty. We'll fix that. Or we'll just cut it to size. So, we're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to sew this bit. Then we'll sew the top. No. We'll sew this bit. We probably should cut that. We're not really going to see it. But you want to cut it at a certain length. Again, marky, marky, marky is Sharpie and marker. <laughs> Mark, get a marky. Okay, you want a little longer, a little longer, not quite to the end. That's marky it. That's Sharpie and marker. Marky it. Marky mark it. Is he getting weird looking or is that just me? Put it on your stash. Okay. Is it coming out? Is it long enough? Yes. So that's just to that size. Perfect. Okay, let's give it a try one more time. Blood's all on the other side. Excellent. Although if there was blood, I just used my favorite old lady Portuguese soap. Okay. Looking good. See, it's not quite in centered. Look at that. See? 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 It's 21. Half of 21 is 10.5. See how it's just slightly off? That would annoy me. Okay. Let's fix that. Okay. So we got the idea here. We know what we want to do there. We want to make sure this is centered. Okay. Twenty one. What ten point five? That is good. If that is right. So I'm gonna attach this to here because I don't want this to move. Attach it to this side. Then that way. Now, I've done this a few times now. I can see where the needle marks are. The top is keeping it in place. This is just sort of holding in place. My blood is here. Perfect. So let's just sew that up. Okay. 
I'll just do one line and double check it, okay? Over the blood. Here we go. Cut the extra bits off. Just make a habit of it. Again, make sure your fleece is always down. We're going to have to sew it on there somehow so it doesn't come up. Let's have a look. Probably iron it later, later so you don't notice it, but I can tell. Okay, so. I'm starting to worry about the fact that the felt sort of comes up. So now we don't see the felt because the felt goes around. I'm just going to do a line down on the back, the line down on the right, just to keep it down. We don't see it. It's around the back. And let's take off the extra from that. Keep a bit. Keep that. Okay, let's just do a line. Again, I, when I get wound up, I have to remember it goes that way. I know that sounds nuts. So, that's, we want to sew it so it's going that way. So, let's get it in. on it. See it'll pull here. So just keep it together. Make sure you're not sewing over other things. Oh, no, didn't take. Thought we're out. Okay. Yeah, we're out. Where did I put that? Over here. Pull out. Totally out. Put in your little box here. And remember, always fill it up. So, to the left, the little hooky, you want to put it through the little indentation. Pull it along. Pull it up. Top it in. Okay. You got your thread. You got too much pulled out now. Don't waste it. Don't need to waste it. Put, bring it down. It'll hook into it. And there it goes. Let it do its process. It knows what it's doing. Good. Here we are. Let's start again. Trying. Don't have to get a terribly straight line, just make it look nice. So you're trying to just go down. 